Hello from the Berlin School. I'm here with uh, Paul Pablos Holman from Intellectual Ventures. Tell us uh, uh, your point of view of hacking and the secret <laughs> behind it. Well, I think hacking is about uh, kind of a mindset and how you interact with the world. They're experiencing things in a different way than, than uh, they were designed to and then, then different than what normal people do. And um, usually in a way that causes everything to be broken at the end. <laughs> but what they're good for is figuring out what's possible. And if you get some new gadget um, and try and show it to someone who's not technically sophisticated, they might ask you, well, what does this do? And you can explain that by saying, well, you know, it's a phone. And uh, if they know what a phone is, then it's game over. But for hackers, the question is always different. The question is, you know, what can I make this do? They're going to break it apart, take the screws out, break it into a lot of little pieces, just trying to figure out what's possible. You can make phone calls. You can go yeah, there's to the There's a lot internet, you can do, yeah, can <laughs> especially on emails, this phone. Uh, well, That's why true, do you but, take but, it apart? but I'm not interested in doing anything that other people can do or that has been done before, you know? For me, you know, hacking is is a way to discover new superpowers. How can you discover new superpower out of that, out of that phone that you have in your hand? You know, initially when we first hacked them, we just wanted to get them on some other carrier besides AT and T. So we hacked our phones, we unlocked them, we could put other SIMs in. Now everybody can do that. So you know, now we're hacking our phones to do other things. We can make mesh networks out of them. We can access sensor data that Apple doesn't want to give you. We can do things here. This is just an example with a phone, but you can do that with everything in the world. You know, uh, it's fertile territory, not just your computers, but you know, cars, ATM machines, um, you know, airplanes, satellites, satellite dishes. You know, all those things are out there and they have potential to do more than people have figured out. And the reason you need hackers to do that, to think that way, is that that's the discovery process that's fundamental to figuring out you, what your new technologies are, are capable of. And they're gonna figure out a bunch of useless stuff. So hackers are detail freaks and they explore mm. the meaning of the details? I think that's probably yep. fair enough. I don't, they're a different kind of detail freak than the ones you imagine. They're not perfectionists, I, would, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. But they wanna know and they have, a deep, they have an insatiable curiosity how the principles of hacking can help communication to renew itself. The thought process that hackers use, the rapid iteration cycle that allows you to take an idea, test it on real users or customers or people, improve on it, do that cycle until it gets really good, and then almost immediately go worldwide with it. That capability didn't exist before. And that's changing communication because now it's a conversation. And before it was, you know, unidirectional. We broadcast a message. Broadcast does not really exist anymore. You have to customize the message for who you're talking to, and you've got to listen to the response. Yeah. If you fail to customize the message for me, then that means you're going to fail to communicate. And if you fail to listen to the response, then you're going to fail to turn me into a customer. I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm going to communicate with whoever yeah. communicates effectively with me, and yeah. that's two-directional. Hackers are working in a, are always working in a world where they get immediate feedback. You know, I do something, I see what happens. I do something else, I keep on trying different variations, and that's a conversation. The whole attitude and mindset of hacking, I observe today that um, it's less directed to problem solving, mm. but more directed to opportunity seeking. Yeah. If you're trying to solve a pr specific problem, hacking's probably not going to get you there, you know. <laughs> like if you just want to figure out what's possible, hackers are pretty good for that. We discussed that yeah. that it really can bring back research and development in yeah. creative uh, industries, new vitality. Yeah. And with all the internet possibilities, speed behind it. Here's a product. 
any product, you know, just randomly buy stuff off of Amazon and say, use this product to do something the manufacturer never intended. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Violate the warranty as quickly as possible. You got 15 minutes, go. You know, that would be an excellent exercise for your students, you know. Say, yeah. <laughs> so, give them some use, you know, any product and have them find something to do with it that, that it wasn't intended to do. And, um, you know, give them higher marks if they find something useful. <laughs> and, you know, if all they can figure out to do is turn it into a weapon, then <laughs> maybe they're, they're, they're not as creative as we thought. You know, with hackers, like, we buy every new gadget that ever gets made, you know. If it gets made and it's got some capability that I've never seen before, I buy it, I try it out, and then I click the sell mine on Amazon button and I sell it again. Yeah. <laughs> so this stuff is every day, new shit shows up in my house. <laughs> I try it out and then thanks to Amazon, it goes away again. iPhones and iPads are expensive, but I try not to let that stop me from destroying them. Yeah. <laughs> if you would lead today yeah. uh, an entertainment company yeah. like yeah. a music company oh, yeah. or a film company yeah. or an advertising agency or a newspaper yeah. or a design company, sure. what role would, would hacking play in, in your company? I'd be looking for the ways to do stuff that nobody else was doing. Bring new things into the world and make new things happen and new things possible. And right now, you know, that's easier than ever. More stuff is being, I'm getting more fuel and more possibilities all the time. And so all I got to do is mash that stuff up. I believe in making things that are centered around the user's yeah. experience. Uh -huh. And I would look for areas where I had a chance to uh, provide a radically different experience to a user in any context. I think people are being uh, not ambitious enough about delivering it. So that's where I'd be working. Yeah. It was great to have you here. And we will make hacking part of our curriculum. Yeah, for it. Hope to have you back. Thank you. Thanks, My pleasure, Pablo. Of course, yeah. Yeah.